Hello everybody, today I am going to show you um, a very nice characteristic of Godot, the state machine. I will have uh, an animation tree, to, so I will not add the state machine at the top level, I will use a blend tree because I want to play a blink animation in all the states um, <clears throat> so I will put right here the blink animation and I will add this animation to everything my my state machine is um, is processing Okay, so we will have here the state machine and everything will be added to a blink animation so I will set it to 1 and we have the, my character blinking of course if I activate it now it's blinking uh, the process mode uh, it could be physics idle or manual physics is if you're using the physics process idle is in the as it says the idle process I will set it in physics because I usually have a kinematic body to move my character and I need to assign the root node for the animations ok right now it's only blinking and we now will start with the states the first state is when the character is not uh, using uh, the bow so I will add here a blind space 1D this will have the movements when the character is not using the bow so it's an idle uh, walking and running animation okay. I will play it and then we have the first animation when my when she is not using the the bow. Okay, that's it. Now I need another uh, group of animations when she is using the bow. We need an idol. Walk right. Front right, walk left, and front left. And we need forward, we need walk from. and back go back and here from back ok let's play it and now this is the group of animations we will use when she's using the ball Okay. Okay. Now we have two states on arm and arm. To switch between these two states, 
we need a transition and in the transition we will add an animation to equip the bow okay so okay we will call it just equip bow now we will do a transition from on art to, to a quite bow it will be immediate immediate okay we need a crossfade time and when this animation ends we will uh, start the R state so this one is immediate and this one is a tenth now to return to the on our state we need to disarm the bow it's the same We need an immediate transition from armed to the sun bow and at end from the sun bow to unarmed. Okay. Let's see how this plays. We will set first the blend positions. We will set uh, working forward in both um, uh, in both states. Okay. Right now, the this is not uh, playing because we need to set the the state uh, manually. So I need to start playing on R and if I want uh, to my my state machine to start in this state I will toggle the animation to start Okay now this is this state is the start state now uh, when I change from on arm to arm the state will travel that's the uh, the idea behind the Godot's, Godot's state machine it will start immediately the equip ball and when it finished it will start the arm state uh, not only let me set the crossfade time crossfade time uh, and the last crossfade time now if I change to arm The state change it from on arm to a quite ball to arm. Now, if I uh, switch to on arm, it disarms and then it start, starts playing the on arm from one to another. Okay. Now, what happens if I call? the disarm bow or a quite bow directly well it will play but we are not doing any anything else because uh, the transition uh, because we say I want to, st to I want this state but this state really is just a transition for us so we will use in code only on arm and arm changing from one to the other another. Okay. Now I will add another animation. I will call it uh, 
death. It's another state, it's a final state. And from any one of these states, we will travel immediately. And I will set the crossfade time. travel from and this is the end I mark it okay now I will play armed if you see from arm to death the transition is smooth because I'm saying the crossfade time is 0 0.2 but from death to arm there is not a, a trouble uh, there is not a path so when I play it it plays immediately because there is no path and we have no crossfade time if I change here the crossfade time to 0 from R to death it changes immediately there is no smooth transition maybe it's okay it's well it's not uh, it's not that big difference but here it is. Okay. Now, um, now I will add another state to my to my state machine. What happens if my my character is falling? Okay, from the movement and only from the movement, it can start immediately. from unarmed to a falling loop and it's the same from armed to a falling loop so yeah, if I'm armed or I'm unarmed I change to a fall loop okay I need to set the crossfade Now, to return to my movement states, I will add another animation, the landing. I, this is a state, holding, and land as a quite bow and the sun bow it's a transition from falling to land I will do a immediate transition and when I finish the land animation I will return to armed or to unarmed So, if I'm walking, I start falling and when, I, when the code says, okay, it hits the, the floor, okay, but uh, we need to change to an arm, to movement, lands and start the movement, okay, I need to 
set the crossfade again again from unarm to falling and then to unarm it lands and moves to arm starts falling and again to arm and continues the movements so it's uh, ah okay yes um, in the code we have on arm death arm and falling as all the states disarm bow equip bow and land are transitions and we will not call them directly now from arm to on arm okay it's It's uh, working and that's it. Uh, that's how to use the, the state machine. I hope you find this interesting. I have a, a test. I'm oh, sorry, no. I have a, a test state. This is inactive. I will active my previous state machine and we will see the test dungeon to see the movement. Okay, we can see how she moves when she's not using the bow. We equip the ball and the movement changes. Okay. And oh yes. And to see the um, See the falling. Of course, it's a work in progress. I'm I have here the falling animation when the is to step. I need to to adjust some parameters here. Okay. Equip the ball and the animations. Thanks everyone. I hope you find this interesting. Um, and if you have any question, you can ask me in the comments. I will check it regularly. Goodbye.